Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and it is the first Tuesday of the month and you regulars know what that means. It is time for Unreal Christmas in November. Yes, the first Tuesday of every month, Epic Games gives away a number of free assets. November 2023 is no exception. As you can see, this is one of the assets in question. This is uh, the Low Poly Town. I think actually this month's giveaways are probably going to be one of the most polarizing. People are either absolutely going to love them or not as much. But there's a there's a decent variety of stuff here. We got a, a low poly, almost Richard Scarry's S town environment here. Now, one of the really cool things about this one is uh, it actually transfers incredibly well to other game engines. Uh, here we are in Godot, by the way. Exact same scene. Imported in. Completely different lighting, of course. Uh, but yeah, you can export this asset out and run it in the Godot game engine. No problem at all. And it looks very, very good. So even if you are not an Unreal Engine developer, you really should be hoarding these because you can use them in other engines potentially, especially straightforward static assets like what you see in front of you. This, again, is the Godot game engine running this asset, and this took minutes to set up. So uh, definitely something to be aware of. But here we are back in uh, the Unreal Engine. You see it's a pretty straightforward environment. Let's go take a look at the overview of this guy. Uh, so overview map right here. These are the various different assets that go together to make this modular environment. So we got a number of different houses over here. We have um, roads and props and barrels and signs, etc. cetera. Uh, then we got some uh, trees and other mixed greeneries. And then finally, we got a variety of vehicles. So that is the low poly town bundle, pretty much as straightforward as they get. Now, the next two are gonna be much less straightforward. This one is Defender, Animated Dialogue System. Not gonna lie, the name is a little confusing, but when you see it in action, you're gonna have an idea of exactly what it is all about. But basically, it allows you to provide a variety of dialogue systems to um, Unreal Engine. Some of them have sound, some of them do not. Uh, you've got a number of different options about them. So you've got branching dialogue options. Let's go ahead over here and open this door up. So then we can go and talk to this guy, so this guy has a variable attached to it. You can watch video tutorials, branching. You got your conversation options here. Uh, then we keep going over here. So then we have di branching dialogues, dialogue with audio. So this guy's actually gonna, um, oh, I guess it's coming up. So you got branching dialogue. We have audio dialogue, this guy at the top here. Warning, you have attacked a hero within tower or inhibitor like, ring. Like so. Must, lower, so if you have war, audio prompt. War, the enemy yeah, he talks a lot, by the way. Uh, if you have um, uh, spoken dog dialogue, it will work with this system. This one shows persistence. So once you spoke to this guy, he will remember it. So you've got to continue from, so you can continue on the dialogue from that point in time. So when I go over and talk to this guy, he'll say, once I've talked to you, I won't talk to you again. And then he ironically talks to you about not talking to you anymore. And you keep talking. So you got the continue from options available there. Uh, then we have uh, predicated dialogue. So here, if you've got stat checks, you can do stat checks in here. So there's four stats, reasoning, intimidation, and so on. And if you've played any Bethesda game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So you use reasoning, and then that causes it to go and handles the branching that way. And you've got a number of different uh, stats you can branch off the dialogue from there. And then over here, you can have dialogues trigger an event. This is uh, going to call some code in the scene for spawning a ball. So here you talk to this guy, and then it triggers that ball to come f flying down. All this stuff is run by data tables. So that's pretty much the idea behind it. So uh, all of these things are handled in a variety of tables it's pretty clean so let's go here demo uh blueprints characters duh, 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 duh. data tables dialogue data tables, level data data so here you see the various different ones so here is the one that does the event triggering so here's where it started and here is where it fires off that event so you see it's it's pretty simple markup level. It uses all data tables to drive this. All your dialogues are driven by data tables and so on. So here you can see uh, jump to, finish line, uh, event, spawn sphere. And then if you go up here, you'll notice if you go into level blueprint, spawn sphere is one of the options available on here. So you can see down here, you've got this uh, on dialogue event triggered. 
And then you go down here, spawn sphere, and that will fire off the code to spawn a sphere, like so. You branch that out, and there you can see the code that actually ran. So you can integrate the dialogue uh, directly into your code. You can have it interact with or branch from uh, variables or statistics. You can have it uh, continue or have persistence. Um, there's quite a bit you could do with this dialogue system. Also, you can hook it up to audio. So if you need to add a dialogue system to your game, that is what Defender is all about. Next up, we have Survivor's Roguelite Multiplayer Game Template. This one, again, probably best to show you the demo. Uh, if you've played Vampire Survivor, this is basically a template for creating those style of games. Let's just run around this world till we find some enemies to kill. So, the initial attacks are really weak, but once you upgrade... So, I need to get through a wave so that I can actually upgrade and show you... Uh, some of the upgrade ability, because it covers all of that stuff too. But this uh, this first magic missile type attack is just garbage. So it's taking me way too long to get to a real weapon. All right, so you see that blue bar at the top? That is basically your experience progress as you go through. And let's just go up here, get a couple of weapons. All right, so there we go. That should be enough. And then you've got your upgrade path again. If you've played Vampire Survivor, you know exactly what you're dealing with. So now that I have real weapons, you're going to see it progresses so much faster. So that, that initial weapon that they set you up, again, it's just a demo, but it does make it such a slow slog. We see here, basically, a number of different weapon systems created. It shows you how to create a Vampire Survivor style game. Let me just go ahead and die. And then this brings you back to the lobby. Uh, again, this is entirely multiplayer based. And then you have this uh, option here for you can switch between different character types uh, and you've got different maps that you can launch in between as well. Uh, so yeah, and you can unlock based off the gold you made while playing. And so it's the basic framework of an entire Vampire Survivor game uh, just implemented entirely in Unreal Engine. From this point on, it is pretty straightforward. We're going with just straight out asset packs. This one is the... Uh, Modular gothic fantasy environment, a very um, Dark Souls-like castle environment. I don't know that there are interiors, so I'll stop going inside. But if you need to have a sprawling gothic castle environment, that is what this pack is all about. I actually think we got one other pack from these guys, so you should have something else that integrates with the same art style. Uh, but pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and check out the overview map on this guy. There is a nighttime demo as well, if you're interested in checking it out. And here we go. These are the various different pieces that go together to create. Uh, so we got some blueprint-driven particle systems for dust and lights and so on. We got a variety of rocks. We got some paraffits. Uh, we got some arches and towers. And we've got some uh, uh, vertex-painted surface demos. And we got some basic rocks and, and gates and such to make up the scene. And all this used to create what we just saw in action. And then we have this like a little environment in the background. Again, a pretty straightforward asset. And then our final asset is literally as straightforward as it gets. This is the grocery store props collection. Uh, it's a grocery store full of props. So you got various different shelves. Uh, you got various different groceries to put on said shelves. Uh, we got some garbage, some, uh, loaders, garage doors, and so on. So basically a number of different pieces go together to create the interior of a grocery store and to shock, uh, stock the shelves. Uh, we got some like the checkout counter stuff here as well. Phone, computer, clocks for the walls. Basically uh, useful. Uh, even if you're not making a grocery store, you basically, if you need a modern, realistic style of a uh, lot of things, for example, a toilet, or a hand warmer, you've got everything here, or hand dryer, I guess I should say. So again, pretty straightforward asset, that one. So a quick recap of this month's free stuff. We get the low poly town pack. Uh, we get the defender animated dialogue system. We get the survivor's roguelike multiplayer game template kit. We get the modular gothic fantasy environment. And finally, we get the grocery store props collection. Again, to add these to your collection, all you do is go up to free, Free for the month. 
add each one to your cart. You're seeing last month stuff here. Uh, basically, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, check out, and boom, they are yours forever. Uh, you might as well do this again. Even if you're not using Unreal Engine, you may be at some point in the future, or as you saw earlier on, you can actually use some of this content in other game engines as well. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, that is this month's free stuff. What do you think? Let me know. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.